can hear you, the rest of the world hears you, and the people who knock these buildings down will hear all of us soon. I can report to the American people and to the world. We'll smoke him out of his cave. Dead or alive, either way. And we'll get him eventually. The United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of Al-Qaeda. A terrorist who's responsible for the murder of thousands. I mean, this, is, this is a horrible man who killed so many innocent people. We should not forget that the battle to stop Al-Qaeda will not end with the death of bin Laden. USA, and on nights like this one, we can say to those families who have lost loved ones to Al-Qaeda's terror, justice has been done. And America's hunt for Osama bin Laden, which lasted nearly 10 years, came to an end last night at this compound, just 35 miles outside of Islamabad, Pakistan. Now there, the Al-Qaeda leader and 9-11 mastermind was shot in the head after a team of brave U.S. Navy SEALs raided this compound. And earlier today, American military officials aboard the USS Vincent buried his body at sea. Now, this is a momentous day for America, but there's no question that this event has special meaning for the families of bin Laden's many, many victims, from the innocent men and women who perished in the attacks on our embassies in Kenya and Tanzania, to the 17 American servicemen brutally murdered aboard the USS Cole, to the thousands of civilians slaughtered by Al-Qaeda in New York City, Washington, D.C., and a field in Pennsylvania on September 11, 2001.